we know that 2 raised to the power of 2 is equal to 4. But what will be 2 raised to the power of minus 2? What will be this? We know that 3 raised to the power of 3 is equal to 27. But what will be 3 raised to the power of minus 3? What will be the value of this? We know that 10 raised to the power of 3 is equal to 1000. That is 10 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10. This gives you 1000. But what will be 10 raised to the power of minus 3? Okay, so let's understand that what, how to calculate the value of a power having negative exponent. These are positive exponents, powers, and in this in these three cases we have powers with negative exponents. Let's understand this and let's take this particular example using the pattern, we'll calculate this value. So 10 raised to the power of 3. It is equal to 10 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10, that is 1000. Right? Now, 10 raised to the power of 2 is equal to 10 multiplied by 10, that is equal to 100. And 100 is actually equal to this 1000 divided by 10, right? Okay. 10 raised to the power of 1 is equal to 10. Now this 10 is actually equal to this 100 divided by 10, right? Okay. Just keep on observing the uh, this pattern. 10 raised to the power of 0 will be equal to what? 1, right? This 1 is actually what? This 1 is this 10 divided by 10. Okay. So, by observing this pattern, if someone asks you that what will be the value of 10 raised to the power of minus 1. So basically this will be equal to this 1 divided by 10. Right? This 1 divided by 10. Okay. So if someone asks you that if 10 raised to the power of minus 1 is equal to 1 divided by 10, then what will be the value of 10 raised to the power of minus 2? Well, this will be equal to this value, that is the value of 10 raised to the power of minus 1. So 1 divided by 10 divided by this whole, this rational number divided by 10. Because in every case, we are actually dividing by 10. In this case, this is 1 by 10 because the value of 10 raised to the power of 0 is 1. That's why 1 divided by 10. Now, 1 divided by 10 is the value of 10 raised to the power of minus 1. Therefore, the value of 10 raised to the power of minus 2 will be equal to 1 by 10 divided by 10. Now, if you solve this, you will get 1 by 10 multiplied by 1 by 10. Right? This is the division of a rational number with a natural number. We know this. Now, this is actually equal to 1 multiplied by 1 divided by 10 multiplied by 10. That is 1 divided by 10 raised to the power of 2. You can write it as 100 also, but we just want to show you some pattern. Just write it as 10 raised to the power of 2. So, we have to calculate what? What will be the value of 10? raised to the power of minus 3. 10 raised to the power of minus 3. So what's the value of 10 raised to the power of minus 2? That is actually this, this much. 1 divided by 10 raised to the power of 2. So 
1 divided by 10 raised to the power of 2 divided by 10 this is equal to 1 10 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by 1 divided by by 10 this is equal to 1 divided by this is 10 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by 10 means 10 2 plus 1 that is 1 10 raised to the power of 3 now observe this pattern here you have minus 1 that's why you have 1 by 10 here you have minus 2 that's why you have 1 by 10 raised to the power of 2 right so you can write this one also as 10 raised to the power of 1 1 here so 1 here 2 here so 2 here 3 here so you have 3 here the only thing is that you have to write it as 1 by 10 and the power that is here so in general if you have an integer non-zero integer if you have a non-zero integer a a cannot be equal to zero it's a non-zero integer then a raised to the power of minus m where m is what an m is a natural number right m is a natural number so a raised to the power of minus m will be equal to 1 by a uh, 1 by a raised to the power of m this is in general a is a non zero integer and m is here is an exponent negative exponent okay so this is 1 by a raised to the power of m so if someone asks you that what will be the value of 3 raised to the power of minus 7 this will be equal to 1 3 raised to the power of 7 if someone asks you what will be the value of 10 raised to the power of 1000 minus 1000 this will be equal to 1 divided by 10 raised to the power of 1000 so in general if someone asks you that if p raised to the power of minus 89 what will be its value its value will be 1 divided by p raised to the power of 89 not value but how can you write it as so you can write it as this one okay so you have to remember this particular thing that in general a raised to the power of minus m where a is a non-zero integer why non-zero integer because if you write it as 1 divided by 0 raised to the power of m right then the 0 raised to the power of something will always gives you 0 only right and you cannot divide any number by 0 because that's that value is undefined we cannot uh, divide a number by 0 because the value that you will get will be undefined that's why we say non-zero integer